Black Box Productions. Go to baymac.bitcartel.com. We got a whole nother light. It's just, if you're loving what I'm constantly in, go check out Baymac Clothing at Big Cartel, baymac.bitcartel.com. It's a whole nother little flavor. It's probably like when you're feeling a little more, feeling yourself a little more. This Baymac Streetwear is for every day. We don't call it streetwear because we promote the street lifestyle. We call it Baymax streetwear because no matter if you're going to work in a corporate building to get there, you got to go through these streets. The streets connect everything we do. So this is streetwear. As you're moving throughout these streets, I don't care if you're on your way to gym to work out, throw on some Baymax streetwear because the streets got to get you there. The streets keep us connected. Oh, my mama, mama. I seen some BS, cuz. Oh, my mama, mama, I don't jump out on behalf of no nigga character. I don't be, I gotta really, really know him. And this one, I'm hoping and praying for to be the way I hope it to be because I can't speak for nobody. And in these days, you might be surprised when you're trying to speak up and disclaim something on somebody's behalf, especially in Hollywood, they might come out boldly and claim it as true themselves. So I don't know, but I'm hoping it's not true. And from what I know, I don't believe it to be true. It's the little homie. I know him personally. Have had not just one interaction with him. I actually was able to spend a whole week at one point, um, eight hours a day with him, interacting. Afterward, we communicated quite a bit. Before he skyrocketed into being um, the new Denzel, but they got some BS going around about Michael B. Jordan that I ain't buying. Oh, my mama, mama, it's a uh, Caucasian man that t supposedly worked for him in his household making statements about my boy's sexuality that might suggest that he might be interested in anything other than females. And, you know, when you're that big of an uh, a icon, rumors are rampant. I know just with my little uh, size of platform, you will hear uh, unfactual statements about yourself in the media. And it's something you got to go with. However, um, I don't want to disrespect him and any choices he has made in his life if that's something he's comfortable with. But from the dude I know and the dude I see and the dude I hope him to be, I don't believe it to be factual. I guess uh, time will probably tell a little better in the future on oh, my mama, mama. But uh, I'm so proud of everything I've seen him accomplish. Um, just another prophetic uh, element to my life to have been able to work with him when he was so young and not unsuccessful because he's been successful from day one but he hadn't actually arrived on the plateau that he has finally arrived and to see that journey and the know-how down to earth uh, he was when I knew him um, he was so polite kind and humble enough to share his stories I actually know why his name is Michael B. Jordan instead of Michael Jordan. I didn't hear it on the media. It's not something I read in the tabloids. I didn't see it on the blog. He actually shared with me the experience of being a childhood actor registered um, to SAG as Michael Jordan. Now, I'm familiar with the fact that once you register to SAG as a name, there cannot be another name registered under that name. So if your name was Michael Smith, probably the most common American name ever, you are the only Michael Smith that could ever be registered to SAG under that name. Anyone else had to be Michael Smith Jr., Sr., the second, the first, Michael D. Jr., something of that nature. So when Michael Jordan, the athlete, finally did his first acting in Space Jam and he wanted to register with SAG, look at this, a bump in the road. Somebody is already registered as Michael Jordan. So as a childhood actor, Michael B. Jordan shared with me the experience of being managed by his parents and one day getting a call that just say, hey, we got Michael Jordan on the phone for you. So just imagine a kid being that excited. Michael Jordan is on the phone for you. So when he gets on the phone, Michael Jordan is explaining the dilemma that he is uh, facing with wanting to be registered as Michael Jordan. But guess what, little buddy? You in my way. And I think as compensation for consideration, uh, Michael Jordan offered him a lifelong supply of Jordan shoes which he and his parents accepted um, cordially and respectfully and humbly and honorably and inserted the B in his name and allowed Michael Jordan to register for Space Jam as Michael Jordan. This is a story he told me. And um, my B 
big homie, smart, slick ass. Want to give him some game. Check me out. Oh, man. <laughs> All you got was some lifetime joints. Man, you, I'm sure he had a number in mind he was ready to go with. Y'all, uh, uh, your parents, your manager, they could have, why, why? Mind you, while we filming on this set, every time they holler, cut, his parents got it set up to where, cuz, go to school. He got tutors on deck waiting on him, getting him all that. That's why he's so literate, he can speak so articulately. We seen him grow up on the set thinking he ain't had time to go to school. But nah, when you got it, you got it. His parents was on point, but me thinking I know better than him and his parents, he should have got some cash. And now he Michael B. Jordan. So salute to Michael B. and Michael Jordan. And I don't believe it on my mama, mama. Until he come out and say he rock like that, the white boy line. Facts. Look, hey, well if it's on and it's on, I'm laid back, stacking, blowing the brief feet, cotton Louis protected with a freak in the seat. Benji Frankie stay in my vision, even more when I'm sleep. I count the bands when I count these sheep. I'm in the streets, switching lanes on the forges while posse and out the paper plate. The licks what my niggas was playing, call it the great escape. Friends nowadays, they ain't loyal like how they used to be. And you ain't really real like you saying, nigga, you used to be. If he your folks, then he my folks, if that's just how we roll. If he ain't, then he ain't mine, now let's get super blow. I be, I be, I be, I be dipping, I be rolling, I be smoking, I be smoking, I be sipping with the turn up to the ceiling, off the turn up, yeah, I feel it, fake friends, I don't do it, tell them niggas, they can kill it, yeah, so if ever my niggas need me, I be there in the flash to get the bags out the stash for that all black Look, rag, I'm like, if that ain't your nigga, then he ain't my nigga, and if you my nigga, you should know, we don't do that lame shit, never, I'm a friend, my nigga, and that's something that my niggas all should know. Well, if that ain't your nigga, then he ain't my nigga And if you my nigga, you should know We don't do that lame shit, never I'm a friend, my nigga And that's something that my niggas all should know Hopping out on feet, aiming at the enemy, squeezing Little Hennessy or Remy, all I need for a reason Quarterback for years, I did plenty receiving Now I'm coaching while approaching my 20th season Every turn I get, I leave the mic in a tourniquet Tonight might light the roof on fire, let it burn a bit Don't dance, never did the Dougie or the Nay Nay No romance, neighborhoods love me, I'm a Nay Nay I'm way more proactive than a lot of these cats Not only that, me and Woodrow know how to react Death before the sign on shites, never See me run some BB guns in the streets with PP sons. Eastside dumb. In case you're wondering where I'm from, 197971. SPI fly crippin' to the day that he die. RIP to JR and baby BI. Well, if that ain't your nigga, then he ain't my nigga. And if you my nigga, you should know. We don't do that lame shit never. I'm a friend, my nigga. And that's something that my niggas all should know. Well, if that ain't your nigga, then he ain't my nigga And if you my nigga, you should know We don't do that lame shit, never I'm a friend, my nigga And that's something that my niggas all should know Daddy, oh my, 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 my dog. Like, I'm just playing though. Okay. Oh, Snack Puzzle. Big shout out to my nigga SPI, Spotter Low. You know, I'm in the black box. Had to come through, tap in, show love one time. Yeah, y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Stay tuned.